Suzanne, your topic was allowing divinity. Well, as is a lot of things uh, in this world, a lot of situations in this world, the answer is in the question. Allowing divinity. Allow it. That's how you experience it. It's the only way to experience it. When we seek divinity. Now, what's divinity? I mean, first let's go back, uh, backtrack, because people might think it's different things, and it will mean different things to different people. But generally, if you look at the dictionary meaning um, and just the, the surface meanings, I think we'd all agree it's, uh, well, I hope we all agree, uh, the divinity, uh, allowing divinity meaning divine spirit, uh, uh, a knowing, uh, a being, basically getting to that place, uh, that unfiltered place uh, where we can see and feel the truth of ourselves. So there's different ways we might think of it, but I think that probably covers it for most of it, something like that. Uh, there might be variations. But that's just to clarify how I take it. Um, because you, there could be divinity in anything, right? You watch a bee pollinating a flower, or an infant laughing, or or an old couple on a bench sleeping on each other in a deep sleep. Uh, you know, you name it. Um, monkeys picking fleas off another monkey. Uh, uh, sunset uh, music. Divinity can be found in anything. Silence. Silence, it's always found there. So to me, that's divinity, and uh, and really, the only way it really comes is when we allow it, when we wish it, when we start getting, when we get deep into spirituality and we start to seek, and we, we start to want, and we see that when people get uh, are in spirituality for years and they get so deep, uh, a, lot, a lot of times, inevitably, they come to a point where they really have a dilemma over their ego and letting go of all the other things they're still holding on to because uh, they really want to just experience total unattachment and uh, not necessarily everybody but a lot of people in spirituality they get really deep down the rabbit hole to wanting to not to suffer and completely be unattached and when that's the case uh, and a struggle happens between the ego because the ego wants to hold on, and um, and so kind of a struggle takes place, and you can see it uh, when they express it, uh, when you see them in sad tags or, or what, however they're expressing the struggle. You, you we often see, and I felt a little bit myself um, at one point way back, and that is. It gets more up into the mind of this, because the, the divinity is really that feeling that basically tapping the source, and source doesn't want or need anything. <laughs> so when when we're wanting that, but we're wanting it from that other place, that's when it can get it, we, we can get too stressed, and we can get, and it becomes it's too much. We're too much seeking and wanting, and so in in that of itself is is putting energy towards not that, but towards the, the mind and the stress and basically the opposite of divinity. So really, it's like putting uh, gasoline on a fire, I guess, in, in, in a sense. And so, but when we finally either give up or we finally have a realization or however we get there, when we see those moments when divinity comes, if you really look at the times you felt it, you, you didn't look for it, it came to you, right? So that's the way it is. Think of it like a cloud. You can't force the clouds to come. You just know that they're going to come at some point. They will come, and they will go. And when they come, um, they come when you least suspect it, when you're allowing them. If you sit there wishing and wishing for the clouds, well, you're going to have a tough time. They'll come eventually, but um, probably when you stop wishing and you, and you relax. Okay, maybe not literally. I'm not talking literally the clouds. <laughs> you never know, though. Maybe we wish them. Sometimes I wonder. It seems like I manifest weather. I don't know. But anyways, I uh, won't get sidetracked. So, 
divinity allowing. So it's right there. So great topic. Thanks for bringing it up. It's a good thing to to contemplate. But we really do see it. Just it's going to come when it comes. Same with our awakening. Same with all of our the big things. They they come as movements on the on their own when we flow with life. So the more we just keep flowing and going inward and doing things that make us happy and put and trying to less up in the mind and less trying to force everything and fight everything and shape everything and define everything the more we can just move and flow is we're allowing and the more we allow the more we will have those moments and so it's just a natural process so you don't even need to fight it because actually fighting it is is uh, makes it worse so you don't you don't need to run for it grab for it in fact don't do any of that you want more divinity in your life? It's, it's kind of like everything else. Then just be it. Just, just be. Do things that, that practice allowance. Allow yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to be accepting of what is. Allow all the magical moments to come. Allow yourself to feel the pain and let it go. Just keep allowing and allowing and allowing. And of course, what will come along with that is the d divinity, the divine moments. And the more you do that, like everything, it becomes part of your life, and the more they come, and they do, they come more often, it's just a natural process, so, so just allow the process. <laughs>